Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for a very warm welcome. Um, now let's give Jesus a big shout of praise. Amen. Please be seated in his presence. I'd like to thank our host, Pastor Shola, for this privilege and to meet his brother again. I think you visited me once. That's a long time ago. You have to come again. He's awesome. I, uh, just to see people of different denominations coming together is a doing of the Lord, and we celebrate God for what he's doing in your life. Well, I can tell you many bandits are getting saved. We actually have some bandit members. <laughs> we do a lot of frontier work uh, in many difficult places, many nations, in the 1040 window, and many difficult places. And it's awesome what God is doing at this time. Uh, tonight, the theme is Upon This Rock. Father, we ask you to help us. Let your word be simple. And as usual, thank you for showing yourself strong in the midst of your people. You are the deliverer. You are the healer. We have no power of our own. So, Father, we look up to you tonight. And I give you all the praise, honor, and glory for all that will be said and done here. In Jesus' name. How many of you are expectant tonight? You're expecting God to reach you tonight. Let me just say the way God works with me so you can flow. As I begin to speak, the word of knowledge begins to come. And all you need to do, the word of knowledge is uh, a little bit of God's knowledge about you. Okay? Can you keep the keyboard a bit low? Lower than that for me. Very low, very, very, uh -huh. no bass, just very low, very low. Good. You keep playing, but very low. Am I good? If I go here, it will stop, go. Oh? All right. So when it comes, it means that God just, you know, when children, when parents come back from home, uh, from outside, children will run to greet you. Usually they take the bag in your hand. They don't really greet you. It means that God bought, brought a bag of candies and your own is inside. All you will need to do, I'm not a healer, Jesus is the healer. When I give the word, wherever you are, you lift your hand, you thank him, and the angel will hand you your parcel. When I finish, you will come up and testify. Is that simple enough? All right. Our theme tonight is uh, upon this rock. And that is taken from Mark 16, when Jesus said to disciples, who do men say that I am? And uh, Simon you know, said, you are Christ, and upon this rock, I will build my church. And Jesus said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. The keys of the kingdom is knowledge from above, or revealed knowledge. When God gives you knowledge from above, it will open locked doors against you. And one of the keys I want to share with you, the Lord put on my heart, to share with you tonight, is the key of the compassion of the Lord. Can we say that? The compassion of the of the Lord. I didn't hear you. Can you repeat that with me? The compassion of the Lord. Let's go to Psalm 145, verses 8 and 9. Psalm 145, 8 and 9. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. The word compassion and mercy, they mean the same in Scripture. In the Old Testament, the New Testament, they mean the same and are often used interchangeably. The word compassion or mercy means to love tenderly, to pity, to be full of eager yearning, to love what? Tenderly, to pity to be full of eager yearning. God is full of love for you tonight. He is full of eager yearning for you tonight. 
compassion is the expression of the Father's heart of love yearning to bless. Compassion is the expression of the Father's heart of love yearning to bless. The Bible does not say God is power. The Bible says God is love. Hallelujah. His heart is yearning to bless you tonight. I said the Father's heart is doing what? Is yearning to bless you. He loves you tenderly. He, he is mindful of you. God loves you so much. That is God. The Bible doesn't say His power. The Bible says His love. God is so full of love that the Bible says that He sends rain on the just and on the unjust. After God finished blessing His children, He's saying that where are the bad people in Abeokuta? Let me bless them. Do you know any bad person in Abeokuta? They are not here. But God is looking for them tonight. Is there an amen in the house of God? Yeah. Which means when God finished blessing you, Ma Christo Kivayananaya, that there's a problem with your right ear pain or hearing problem. The power of God is here to touch you right now. Pain in, the, in, in this ear or, or deafness or something in this ear, the power of God is here now to bless you. If you have pain in your ear, wherever you are, you want to lift your hand and thank the Lord. Just lift that hand wherever you are and thank the Lord with me. I can see you right there. Okay. So when God finished blessing people, his children say, where are the bad people of Abeokuta? I want to deliver something to them. Compassion oozes out of him. Tonight, you are the next candidate for a miracle. Is there an amen in the house of God? One time I was in Calabar, one of our... Uh, uh, you know, brothers in the Lord, Dr. Michael Biora's church. I had been in Europe and I came home very tired. I, I just came back, I went there not too long ago. I go there every year at the same time. And I was so tired that night, I thought, mm, let me just prophesy a bit and go and sit down. And when I came into that church, there was a woman that lay by the door. People were stepping over her carefully. Let me not, I don't know if you're afraid of something. So I came in, and I was at the back, and the Lord said to me, go to the front of the church and tell them that everyone who has an incurable disease needs to come out tonight. I said, God, but I'm tired. Can you imagine you telling God that you are tired? Is it you that heal people? I don't know how to heal people. But when compassion is oozing out, God will look for any channel. Even a child to speak to tonight. I'm just the delivery boy of God. I'm the conduit. A back problem to the left side is being touched by the power of God. Just around here. Around here. Around here. If you are the one, raise your hand. Thank you, man. Thank you over there. When I finish speaking, you will not find it. Just be thanking God as I'm speaking. When I'm done, it's gone. Amen. Make a long story short. I came forward and I was thinking, ah, can we not do this tomorrow? I've realized that God wants you healed more than you want to be healed. How many of you have children? When your children are sick, you prefer, can I take that sickness for that child? Let, let, let me even take it for some time. God wants you blessed more than you want to be blessed. He wants you delivered more than you want to be delivered. And maybe we just came here tonight for you. It could be why God said, go there for you. For you for me so when i got to the front of that church you were sitting in three sections as i looked to where the ministers were sitting i remember reverend cosme legogi and his wife were sitting there and as i looked there i saw jesus himself there and i think i froze for a minute like my old guys here i got the message when god wants to have compassion who are you to stand in his way I want to declare to a child of God tonight that the compassion of the Lord will locate you. Your problem is not too big for God. The God of heaven will come down. He will remove that barrier in your life in the name of Jesus. Your father is mindful of you. Long story short, the woman had full-blown AIDS, stooling non-stop for six months. Two weeks later, Dr. Michael Bura was in our church convention and said, hey, that woman testified of her healing, totally healed by the power of God. He will locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. 
I saw in a flash now, you've been having some blood discharge, urinary, but there's blood in it. Don't raise your hand. It's cleared in the name of Jesus. It's gone in the name of Jesus. That chest problem that bothers you, uh, 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 lift your hand and thank God, is out of your body. That chest condition, can you wave your hand? Somebody, that chest condition, maybe they call it asthma. You see, when we come like this and daddy comes into the place, nothing is impossible, except it doesn't show up. Once it shows up and it's been here since, I'm just announcing, I'm reading Heaven's Register for you. Your name is in the register. Your chest condition, your asthma is gone in the name of Jesus. God is full of eager yearning. He's full of compassion. He's full of compassion for you tonight. Second Chronicles 16 verse 9. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. To show himself strong in the behalf of those whose hearts are upright towards him. The eyes of the Lord is what? Running. That means he's running. God is just, tonight God is like, I'm looking for somebody to bless. And I'm saying, Father, that person is me. His eyes are running to and fro. He's looking all over the place. Jesus is walking these eyes tonight and he's looking all over the place. Who can I touch with my compassion? Who can I touch with my mercy? I was preaching in a church in uh, Fort Worth, Texas some time ago. And I was, the Sunday morning, I was preaching. One woman ran out of the church. There's a difference between going to the bathroom quietly and running. She ran. While I was still preaching, another one ran again. Pastor Ginger tapped me, said, we've got to stop. I said, my preaching must be very bad. He said, well, the first woman ran out because what? She had a growth in her body. It's the size of a golf ball. She felt something move. She felt something move. As she went to the ladies' room, she couldn't find it. Another woman ran. She, Ma Cristo la barra ma mama. She felt something. She, she had a growth like a softball. Something moved and she couldn't find it. Child of God, I want you to know Dr. Jesus is in the house and his compassion is reaching towards somebody in this house tonight in the name of Jesus. I don't know if it's an accident, but you had a dislocation of something here. Something with your shoulder just around here. The power of God is reaching you. Anything with your shoulder, thank you. Just raise that hand and thank him. It's yours, just take it, just take it. It's yours, just take it. Hallelujah to Jesus. Friends, tonight I want to encourage you that the compassion of the Lord is the Father's heart of love. Many of us don't even doubt. <laughs> you know, many people don't doubt God can do anything. God, God is all powerful. But the question is, I was preaching on Sunday at home and in the first service, and after that, a lady just wrote to me online and said, I was crying during your message because the question is, can God do it for me? Many people don't doubt that God can open blind eyes, but can he open my own? Can he heal me? He that spared not his own son, he shall with him freely give you all things. If he gave you Jesus, there's nothing too hard for him to give you. Is there an amen in the house of the Lord tonight? Is there a better amen in the house of the Lord tonight? A revelation of God's willingness to show mercy is key to your blessing. Say with me, a revelation of God's willingness to show mercy is key to my blessing. Look at Mark chapter 1 from verse 40 to 42. That is the story of the leper. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him and kneeling down to him, saying unto him, If thou wilt... Thou canst make me clean. And Jesus moved with what? Compassion. Put forth his hand and touched him and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately, I love that, the leprosy departed from him and he was healed. Compassion brings immediate release. Immediately. Now, th this guy was telling Jesus, I know you have the power, but are you willing? It's like, in the morning, you have set up a camu eh? on the plate and bean cakes and cornflakes and everything is on the plate, it's on the table. And your son comes to you and says, Mommy, do you really want me to eat breakfast? Are you sure this is for me? You are going to look like, why did I make, go through all this trouble? I want to say tonight, he has prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. And your cup is going to run over tonight in the name. Jesus 
In the house of Cornelius, when Peter came, Peter could not even make altar call. People, the Holy Ghost fell. Which means God was like, Peter, you are preaching for too long. I want to bless these people. I want to say to somebody, God is like, I, I've been looking for how to get you to this arena. And now that you have come, that disease is not going home with you. That infirmity is not going home with you. That ancestral cause is not going home with you. You have come into a place where God, the I am that I am, the Alpha and Omega, the one that has no beginning, the one that has no father, the one that has no mother, you have come into his presence tonight and I want to declare to a child of God, you will not go the way you came. There will be a transformation. There will be an impartation. The God of heaven is it's going to fall upon you in the name of Jesus. I was praying for a woman in Denmark some years ago. I had my eyes closed. When I opened my eyes, my prayer was too long. The woman jumped out of the chair, ran out of the wheelchair, and I realized I was praying for the wheelchair. God sometimes just wants to say, Keep quiet, let me do what I want to do. I'm seeing something with the abdomen. If it is a growth, you will not find it. If it is pain, anything from here down that is bothering you, it has entered the wrong house. And... Hey! You know, there are certain, if, if they say you should box some people, when you just look at them, you just throw in the towel. When God comes in and Satan comes in, it's not a context. It's only if the Father has not shown up. But I'm saying your heavenly Father has shown up in this place today and he has your name on the ticket of victory. I was preaching in church some years ago, minding my own business. And I had these words jump out of my mouth. The fibroid would disappear and you have a child by the name of Joshua. I thought, I look back, who said that? I realized I said that. Let's turn our Bible to, I call one passage quickly because it was not in sync with anything. There was a dear child of God there that was due for surgery. And they had been arguing with the husband. Anyway, they finally got the money. When they got home, she told her husband that, I'm not going for that surgery. The husband said, why? I'll give you the money, I think for 100,000 then. She said, well, the pastor said, the fibroid will disappear and you have a child by the name Joshua. The husband said, did he call your name? He said, he didn't call my name, but I claim it. He said, ah, no, 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 you won't claim it. You go back to the hospital. They did the first test, no fibroid. The second test, no fibroid. Third test, no fibroid. And there's a boy by the name of Joshua. He's still in the church. This is on the left ear. Whatever is wrong there is being healed by the left. Just raise it. That's it. Take it in Jesus' name. Daddy, we are grateful for your presence. What will we do without him? Hallelujah. Can you see an amen somewhere? Can you see an amen somewhere? I love the presence of God in a meeting. I just love that. When he comes like that, everything is possible. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Things are already happening all over the place. I feel it, but let me finish this message. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Some of you, after this meeting, something will happen. Go to Isaiah chapter 63, verse 9. I said, He's full of eager yearning, He can hardly wait. Ha. Ah. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them. And he bare them and carried them all the days of old. In all their affliction. Everything that is touching you tonight is touching God. Because if you're a child of God, he is the head and you are the body. Where do you feel the pain? Who interprets your pain? It's your brain. So he feels we have a high priest who is touched with the feelings of our infirmity. You are here, there have been strange deaths in the family. Strange people are dying, nobody can explain. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost tonight, I break that curse upon your life. Strange deaths, they are dying, nobody, it is unexplainable. 
But because you enter this arena, I break the yoke of hell upon your life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. I've told this story all over the world. There's a boy who sings in our choir today. I went to a little church in our town. I like stories because they are true. And if God did it for A, he can do it for B. He's no respecter of persons. So I went to this little church. I had designated one of my pastors to go there. And I was watching English Premier League. I confess that I'm human after all. And the Holy Ghost said to me, get up. Go to that church yourself. So I got up. My wife said, where are you going? I said, the boss. So I went to that church. As I was ministering, and we're going to do a lot of prophetic ministry tomorrow morning, as the Lord leads. As I was ministering, the Lord said, go to that woman. I don't know her. As I got close to her, I had a quick vision. I saw her son leave the house. And I saw her son come back. I said, nothing special. Children leave home. Children come back. He said, you tell her. I said, I saw your son man, leave the house. And the Lord said, your son will come back. Come and see drama. The woman started throwing chairs, rolling on the floor. Unknown to me, the son was working as a generator mechanic. He was kidnapped by his boss. They took them somewhere. I think he said 10 or 11 of them, I don't remember the number, from West Africa. They gave them something to drink. It wiped their brain. He, the boy couldn't remember his father, his mother, his name, where he even came from. Jesus! Jesus! When the word was given, when the word was given, it was the third Sunday of December of that year. The woman that kept them suddenly died. The boy's mind began to come back. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the Lord, when Imam Shaba came back, he's been gone for four and a half years. I don't know what your story is, but when the King of Kings, the compassionate one, the merciful one gets into all we need is his presence and his word when he's spoken by the spirit of faith things will begin to change like this I was dedicating one of our churches in Kaduna there I just went to pray for a building you know normally how you pray for a building father I want to go back to church quickly just a small prayer we dedicate in the name of father the Holy Ghost said to me Call out everyone who is barren. I said, we didn't come for miracle service. I just came to pray for this building and leave. I don't know why I came to Abiyakuta, but I believe it's because of you. <laughs> the knee, your knee, is being healed now as I speak. Maybe you fell off a bike or something happened. You, you need to be doing something with it. Just move it now. Begin to move it. So they brought out seven people that day. One of them, they said his sperm was dead. The wife gave birth. All of them gave birth within one year. If you go on my page, you will see the picture somewhere, the postcard of all the babies who made it. Listen to me, my friend. God and the devil are not competing tonight. The power of God is here. His presence is here. He is the King of kings and he is the Lord of lords. He has sent me here today to deliver a message, to let you see the compassion and the fire of God, the compassion of God. His fire and his presence is going to make a difference in your life. I want to declare to you, you are coming out of your trouble. You are coming out of that situation. The power of God is going to lift you there will be a lifting 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 in the name of Jesus please sit for a bit hmm 
Well, hallelujah. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. I said, glory to God. Let's share a bit more before we begin to pray. As we speak, things we just get out of people. They just leave. Because God and the devil are not in competition. The compassion of Jesus, say with me, the compassion of Jesus has credited my account with the benefits of salvation, forgiveness and righteousness. They belong to me tonight. Romans 8.32, he that did not spare his own son, he shall with him freely give us all things. Hallelujah to Jesus. The prodigal son missed it big time. Ephesians 2.4, but God who is rich in word, mercy. Ephesians 2.4, but God who is rich in word, mercy. For his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Christ, and raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he may show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus Psalm 103 bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul forget not his forget not his mercies those benefits are mercies forgiveness is a mercy it's a compassion. The prodigal son. The Bible says the father saw him far and ran towards him. If it's your father, can you imagine what will happen? You took the family inheritance. You alone, you blew the thing. Spent the money. <laughs> Even if you come home, you know, you, you, the word you will hear, eh? <laughs> you may not recover for a lifetime. You even be telling your children the way they abused me when they took me back. The father said, give him the best robe. I want to say the blood of Jesus is big enough to take your sin from God's mind and it should be big enough to take your sin from your mind. Jesus said, your righteousness is of me. 2 Corinthians 5.21 He that knew no sin became sin and that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Jesus is our righteousness tonight. Look at Isaiah chapter 61 verse 10. I will greatly rejoice, Isaiah 61.10 In the Lord my soul shall be joyful in my God, for he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. And you can read up to 11. Praise God. You see, when there's a, if there was a wedding here today, there will be two people you will look. The bridegroom, Abby, and the bride. Abby? It doesn't matter, you may be more beautiful than that girl, but you are not chosen. There's only two people that will be here. You may have more money than that girl, but you are not chosen. You may have, your parents may be more influential, but that guy did not choose you. The only two people that will be permitted to stand in this space is the bridegroom and the bride. You see, because if you also look how, what, what, how they will dress, you will know that these are the two people. I want to say today that if you are in Christ Jesus, he has taken his garment of righteousness and he has put it on top of you. And you are the one standing at the altar today. It doesn't matter who doesn't like you that you are wedding today. It doesn't matter if they think you are too short, you are too fat, you are too tall, you are too thin. Jesus has chosen you. And because he has chosen you, because the bridegroom has chosen you, it's your turn to shine. Those that don't like you, the people that want to remember your past, you can tell them, I have been loved. I am the beloved of God. Jesus has chosen me. He has chosen me. I have not chosen him. I might have failed many times, but his blood has washed my sins away. And I'm standing in his righteousness. I'm standing in... Oh! Jesus! 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 When I don't know what to say, I say Jesus because I don't know anything better than that. We were preaching in Kasangati outside Kampala some years ago. And my host said to me, See, see that man on crutches? 
is the worst sinner in this place. I say, ah, how will that help my faith? If somebody is the worst sinner, are you trying to discourage me? Do you know the first person that God healed? The worst sinner. Why? Because once the blood cleanses you, God does not remember. And stop wasting your time trying to remember what God does not remember. If God does not remember, waiting concern devil now, waiting concern devil, waiting concern Job friend. God say he does not remember. I choose not to remember. So I'm walking in the I'm walking in the righteousness of God tonight. Miracles are my portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another place in Florida I was preaching. One man, 52 years old, he was deaf in one ear. The pastor stood up and told me, You see that guy? He started telling me the things the guy has done. In fact, my faith was beginning to get flat tire. It's like, Hey, will God do it for this man? 52 years old for 50 years. Since he was two years old, he's been deaf. In, I think it was the left ear. Just popped like that. If he paid, why won't you take it tonight? Why won't you take it tonight? Back problems. Back problems. Just thank him. Just thank him. You know, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. The righteousness of God. When Paul was writing and said, Who shall deliver me from this body of sin? Please sit down for a bit. I have one more thought before I pray tonight. When he was writing in Corinthians, he said, who shall deliver me from this body of sin? The Romans had a tradition that if you're a murderer, they will strap the person you killed to you, hand to hand, foot to foot, so that the infection from that guy will eventually kill you. So when Paul was saying, who will deliver me from this body of sin? He was saying, there are certain things I'm carrying around. You need to bury your past before it buries you. Some of us are carrying so many things. I did this. I did that. I made this mistake. I made the other mistake. Uh, uh, uh. Is it my time God is looking for? That's why he gave us the blood. Isaiah 26 from verse 12. It took down. He said, let me paraphrase. He said, that will ordain peace for us. Other gods beside it uh, we serve. He said, they are dead, they are forgotten. Only by this shall we make mention of them. There are certain things that you need to bury in your life. Somebody didn't treat you well, bury it. Your father didn't tell you to send you to school, bury it. Your father died too early, bury it. Your mother died too early, bury it. Nobody likes you, bury it. You are too short, bury it. You are too tall, bury it. You are too fat, I won't say that one. <laughs> I'm working on my own. <laughs> are you still with me today? Stop carrying things. Many of us, the reason we don't get the blessing of God, we live in regret. <sighs> Forget it, it has happened. Stop worrying yourself over spins milk. Thank God for the blood. How many of you are grateful for the blood of Jesus today? Smith Wigglesworth said, There is nothing in me the blood cannot cleanse. And you know what? It can, it can cleanse, and the power of it can help you to live above it. Well, I need to do some altar ministry. So, um, Let's see. There are so many benefits of your salvation. You will hear more tomorrow. Hallelujah. I'll be talking on the blood covenant tomorrow morning and be prophesying on people. But tonight, let me throw this in that compassion has credited you with healing, deliverance, and preservation. Can somebody say with me, compassion? has credited me with healing, with deliverance, and with preservation. And then we're going to pray. Listen, friend. Blind Bartimaeus was saying to Jesus, Thou son of David, do what? Have mercy. Forgiveness is a mercy, but healing is also a mercy. We can earn it. If you get an alert now, hmm? There's some alert, you say, well. You know, there's some well alert, say, well. <laughs> there's some, praise God. Then there's some, 
There are some alarms that move you, Abi. Some alarms will even make you leave this meeting. I say, I don't need God. May you not get that in Jesus. Any alarm that makes you to leave church is from the devil. <laughs> oh, you're a baby Christian. The alert, you see, tonight, we are not here to beg him. He credited it. You see, a lot of people need to understand that. Mercy, the thing is credited. It's, it's there. Your right knee is being touched by him now. It is credited into your account. It's already there in your account. Forgiveness is there in your account. Healing is what? There in your account. On the same cross, the same day, by the same person. Let me throw this in before I begin to pray tonight. Daddy, we thank you. Jesus said, which is easier? To say your sins are forgiven or take up your bed. If somebody says, I give my life to Jesus right now, Jesus comes into his heart. You can also say, Father, I receive my healing right now, and the manifestation comes into your life. There are people here tonight that there are things that are running in your family. Maybe high blood pressure, maybe diabetes. Today, you will lay it down. You will draw line for the thing. You will draw line, say. It, from my time, it stops. Hallelujah to Jesus. Exodus 12, 13, he said, The blood shall be for you what a token upon the houses where you are. When I see the blood, I will do what? Oh, possibly. Preservation and deliverance, they are part of our benefits of mercy. It's in your account. How many of you know we are living in dangerous times? Some of us live on the front line. Everybody in our church can say Psalm 91 sleeping. It's in their blood already. And the, the stories, I have a book on the power and the blood. You can find it on Amazon. The testimonies are all real. The people are still alive. Let me tell you. The blood of Jesus is the highest sacrifice possible. Let me leave this with you before I pray. I beg with people. Only with your eyes shall you see and behold the reward of the wicked. When the angel of death was entering every house in Egypt, there are some houses the angel of death No, we don't enter this time. One of my friends, they kidnapped the daughter for a ritual. The man that will cut them sat on that thing. Say, who is that girl? Return her. We can't use this time. There's a blood on your head. You know where you used to go before you gave your life to Christ? When you have a problem, they say, bring chicken. They'll use that chicken, kill that chicken as your substitute. Offer the blood to his spirit to help you. If your problem is bigger, they'll say you should bring goats. If it's bigger, they'll say you should bring if it's bigger, they'll say you should bring eh? Human being. Boma, boma people. <laughs> Which means somebody's, that human being's blood is the one that spirit we use. You appease that spirit. The, the, the spirit realm operates, the language is blood. Language is blood. The higher the altar, the higher the blood. So when God, when God was going to settle our matter, it was not chicken, it was not goat, it was not cow, it was not human being. He himself became a man. That's why he's called the Lamb of God. God never sinned, but he said, I will become a lamb for all eternity. Listen to this. And that's why when Jesus rose from the dead, there was no altar on the earth that could take that blood. No altar in on the earth, no place, Asia, Africa, Europe, Oceania, no altar. 
no altar in the atmospheric heaven where you are flying your plane no altar in the stellar heaven where the galaxies and stars are the only altar fit to take blood was the altar of God in heaven that means for them to touch you they have to go beyond the earth beyond this atmosphere beyond the stellar heavens to the altar of God in heaven and they cannot get there I want to announce to you today there's blood speaking your name from the altar of God in heaven and because that blood is calling your name no weapon formed against you shall prosper a thousand may fall by your side and ten thousand by your right hand but they will not come near you only with their eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord who is my refuge even the most high their habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come near their dwelling child of God there is a woman in our church two guys entered and they pulled a gun on her they said madam we are taking your car you know the woman we are taking your car she said take it he said we are going to shoot you and take your car she said i plead the blood upon this rock revelation knowledge not just here revealed in your heart she said i plead the blood which means my dowry has been paid there's blood in the third heaven calling my name there's blood in the third heaven calling my name you cannot touch that blood big mac Because if you can touch the blood, that means you can kill Jesus again. And the Bible says, Jesus Christ died and he died no more. She said, Pastor, I thought I had died. They fired her three times. She's probably watching tonight. Pop, pop, pop. And the bullet fell down three times. And those rascals ran for their life. You are a supernatural being with a supernatural blood, with a supernatural heritage. I declare to you the compassion of the Lord is towards you tonight. Stand to your feet everywhere if you will. I have no power of mine. I have no, I have no. Power, I confess, I confess to you, Holy Spirit of the Lord. I have no lift your hands and thank you. this night the power of God is so much upon us you are here you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior or you just want to rededicate your life to the Lord just raise your hand wherever you are I want to rededicate my life raise your hand thank you there thank you raise your hand you're rededicating your life to Jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you can you begin to make your way forward wherever you are now? Begin to come. I want to give my life. I want to dedicate. Come, my brother. Come, my sister, wherever you are. While I was preaching, speaking tonight, while I was speaking and preaching tonight, while I was speaking and preaching, you want to dedicate your life, please come. Come from everywhere. Some hands this way. Come, come. You're welcome. Just come. All right. Thank you, Lord. All right, let me just do this quickly. Because I think the next line we may have a lot more people. That ear is being touched by God right now. All right. 
All right, everyone pray this prayer, all of you in front. Say after me, Heavenly Father. Everybody say, Heavenly Father, I know I'm a sinner. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I receive him into my heart. I rededicate my life to you right now in Jesus' name. All right. I will, I will call for you a little later again. So um, there's a man here. If you go to look to your left, for the last call, they will come back for the last prayer. While I was speaking, maybe I mentioned a, a, a condition that looked like yours, that is yours. I can't remember everything I said now. A sickness. I want you to just wave your hand to the Lord. Just raise your hand. I mentioned something that had to do with you. Can you wave your hand? All right. I want you to journey from your seat. Come forward thanking God. Just come forward thanking the Lord. Come. Come. Just take the whole aisle. Come forward thanking the Lord. Just come forward thanking the Lord. Come forward thanking the Lord. Come forward thanking the Lord. As you come, begin to do something in faith. If it's your knee, begin to bend it. If it's your back, begin to move it. If it's your ear, close the, close the one that was good and praise him with the bad one. At this time, you are looking for your healing, not your sickness. That knee, that lower abdominal pain, begin to look for your healing, not your sickness. Wherever you are, begin to come. I know the altar is full now. Now, I didn't mention your case. You need a healing, just get into the aisle. That means leave your seat, the space between. Just get into the aisle. Healings are already happening. Pains are already leaving. I said healings are already happening. Pains are already leaving. But I'm just going to pray. As I pray now, you start doing something in faith. The moment I pray, start doing something in faith. And give him thanks. Uh, lift your hand to the Lord. Lift one and up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the faith of God, I come against every infirmity. I command you, come out now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Back problems disappear. Knee problems disappear. Lower abdominal pain disappear. Pain in the arm disappear. Deaf spirit come out. Hearing problems disappear. Migraine headache disappear. Problem in the neck disappear. Every infirmity. Every breathing problem. Every cha 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 ra In your chest. Come out in the name of Jesus. Every problem in your spine be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. In the name of Jesus. Lift both hands to God and wave it now, wave it now. Do something in faith. I want you to do something in faith. Bend, move the knee. You have one minute to do something in faith. Jesus is our healer. He's in the house. Block the good ear and praise him with the bad one. Block the good ear, praise him with the bad one. He sent me here to help somebody. He sent me here to help somebody. Can you give him thanks? Can you give him praise? Can you give him thanks? Can you give him praise? Can you give him thanks? Can you give him praise? Can you give him thanks? Can you give him praise? Can you give him thanks? Can you give him praise? Can you give him thanks? Can you give him praise? In the name. Jeez. Something happened to you tonight. Can you wave your hand? All right. Who is next? 
Yeah, I have this. I have this chest pain. Chest problem yeah, for how long? I can't for like three years now. Three years. I can't stand for more than two minutes. But you've been standing for a long time. Yeah. And how are you I'm feeling? Not feeling anything. Oh, give the Lord a shout. <laughs> Whose ear open? Whose ear open tonight? Something happened to your ear. Come, 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 come. Here. Yeah. Come, 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 come. I've had this um, ear pain for like two years now. Which of the ears? Both of them actually, but Just this is more intense than the other one. Yes. And while you were ministering, while I was sitting, my left ear was feeling hot all of a sudden. And when you called us, I, was, I can't feel the pain again. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Now come, my friend. My friend. But you could hear well in them. All right, let's take the next person. Here, 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 here. Bring this girl. All right, let's talk to this lady. Praise God. I want to thank God for um, the healing in my right ear. What was wrong with your right ear? It used to hit me. Yes. And um, if I hit it, it pains me. So I thank God because I've received my healing tonight. How long have you had this problem? I've had it right from when I was a baby. Since you were a baby. Yes. I won't ask your age because you're a lady. What's <laughs> more than 10 years now? Okay. Right? Well, More praise the team. Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Can you hear well in both ears before? Yes. All right, let me hear from this man here. What happened here? So, um, over 10 years ago, stone entered my left ear. Your left ear? Yes, uh, so they operated on it, and since then, it's been giving me a problem. Like, I don't, either I don't hear properly, or when you speak once, I hear twice. It's, but it's now it's... be reverberating, yes. or you don't hear well. Yes. Now, block the one that was good. Hello. Hello. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout, somebody. Come, come. Something happened to you. This people has really, this, these two people have been waving their hands since. Come. What happened? Praise God. I had ulcer, appendix, and a theory infection but now i know i am healed praise well let's god. give him praise and glory what happened to the lady behind her praise the lord i have also right from practically maybe seven years for seven years seven years old oh but we, we accept your testimony yeah for about 21 years i've had 21 years and i've been very what very happened? careful with this what name. happened I don't just know. Just like happened. that. Yes, but I want to thank God because I really can't feel the pain I anymore. I can see. I can yes. see. I can see. Well, give him a shout. Man. Give him a shout, somebody. Is it a knee as well? Is it a knee? Yes, sir. All right. Mm. Your own is problem. not a knee. It's something else. My secondary school. As far as I can remember, my secondary school, and I finished 2015, and I can't always kneel down properly. Even for a long time, I can't. So this night where you said the word of knowledge concerning the new, I was still doubting. Yes. <laughs> then they called for my attention to attend to the water in front here. So I had to walk about and then I could not feel and the, the thing pain is in my new That car. is Jesus. Somebody give him a shout. Something else that is not me. All right, there's a young man here. You can raise your hand. It's not the Lord. What happened, sir? Like just yesterday, I was attacked with um, asthma. You were attacked? With asthma. Oh, asthma. So last year, God healed me. But I noticed that I still do have this chest contraction. That whenever I breathe in, I just feel my bones cracking. So, so you felt... Well, she's crying. You felt your ovulation. Jesus. You felt that movement in your body, right? Yes, sir. Jesus. We we'll give Jesus all the glory. What happened here? Praise the Lord. You mentioned a case. You mentioned something concerning my case. You said you talk, you talk about fibro. Last month I went to a lab. All right, I'm going to switch gear now. We we'll take that one. So last month I brought, and you said something. You said God is not a respecter of person. What you do for one, we do for another. So you are standing under the in same faith. So I, I, since then I've been declaring, and I know that it is done in I have Jesus my own name. Joshua. Man. All right, praise God. Mark you like a laceration. 